Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to work on a little uh, detail here on the standard gauge layout and we're going to make hedges. So we're going to make hedges for standard gauge. And what we're trying to replicate are the hedges that were on those uh, villa plots that they used to make. So they had the little villa buildings and they had them where they sold them as these plots of land where it had the whole big base around it where it put the trees and the um, little hedges and things like that on it, right? So we're trying to replicate sort of the look of those hedges for a little bit of the um, residential area that we have. And we're just going to use a couple of very simple materials and a couple of quick steps and we'll have some standard gauge hedges. So let's jump into this. For our little hedge project, we really just need three things. We need uh, these uh, stripping pads, which are made by uh, 3M. These are 3M heavy duty. And the key is heavy duty because that's what gives it this uh, really sort of wide open uh, texture to it. And they're thick. Uh, they're about, I don't know, maybe an inch or so. Um, so you want to get these as opposed to just thin scrubbing pads, right, that don't have this like really heavy texture. So this kind of replicates some of the texture you'd see on the original like um, villa plot sets and stuff like that where they had hedges and things like that. So that kind of replicates. It's the closest thing I could find. But the color's not quite right. This is, this is like a, I don't know, greenish bluish uh, kind of color. Uh, so the second thing you're going to need is some paint. So I just got some of this uh, Krylon white, uh, it's matte Spanish moss, which is like a matte green paint. So we're going to paint it. And then the other thing you'll just need is some hot glue. Uh, and uh, that's all you need to make hedges. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these hedges just along the edge here, uh, going along the uh, residential area here. And I think in the back a little bit right underneath the... Uh, maybe over here in the back underneath the elevated loop here like sort of in the back here on that side of the road like right behind the dog house there it's hard to see from the camera from here but anyway uh just a couple little areas with some hedges just to give it a tiny bit of uh extra sort of detail there um so before we paint it though what we want to do is actually get it uh glued together and cut so what's nice about these is when you push them together, you can't, even, you don't really even see the seam because it sort of all meshes together. So that's really good, and they're pretty, uh, you know, wide here. So you're going to be able to get probably at least two, if not three, hedges rows out of this. But what we're going to do first is glue all four of these that we have here uh, together. So it's going to be looking like that basically with some hot glue. We're just going to jam some hot glue in between them and push them all together, make sure everything's even on the edges. And then once we have them all together, we're going to take a straight edge and we're just going to take a, you know, really sharp utility knife and just cut right through it, right down it. So the edges are pretty much even going down. So we'll sort of mark it with like a black Sharpie and then zip it on down. But first you want to glue it together. Get your length, right? So we'll make sure we get our length here for along our hedge here. And then once we have it all glued together, we got our length, then we'll take it outside and give it a quick coat of paint. And it'll just be light coats because we don't want to fill in all the gaps and stuff like that. We just want to make it just a light coat to give it that greenish color. And that's pretty much it. So that's all you need to make standard gauge hedges. And uh, so, yeah, let me uh, get this stuff glued together and cut so you can kind of see the hedge and then... Uh, I'll show it then as it's final uh, after it's painted and actually uh, put on the layout. And to attach it, we're just, again, just going to use a couple dots of hot glue to attach it to the layout. So I don't want it too close to the track here, so I may have to cut in the black foam here, just whatever the width is to cut that out so it stays along the edge here and doesn't get too close to the track so the trains don't hit it. Um, this is, like, really rough stuff. It's, you know, they're meant for... Um, sort of removing, you know, paint and things like that. So because they're stripping pads, so you definitely want don't want them rubbing against your uh, enameled standard gauge finishes, right? So, um, yeah, so that's it. So let me get some uh, glue and get this all glued together and cut. So that's step one completed. You can see I have it all just glued together with some hot glue. It kind of looks like one continuous uh, piece here as if it came that way. And all we got to do now is cut this. So we're going to measure this up. Not sure what the height is going to be. We're going to pick here and then uh, we'll 
run a straight edge and get this cut and you'll see what it looks like. All right, so there's an example. I've got this first piece cut here and you can see it. That's what it's gonna look like, right? Except it's gonna be a little uh, greener. Uh, and actually that color is actually not too bad for, maybe it was a uh, some kind of a blue uh, hedge plant, uh, but um, not bad. So I just have to cut a little extra piece for the end portion right here and uh, like right on the end here just to bring it out right to here at the end of the development basically and uh, tack that on and then I'm ready to just give it a quick coat of uh, green paint. But that's kind of how it's going to look and it's very easy to create uh, standard gauge hedges with uh, those uh, uh, abrasive uh, sponges and uh, a little hot glue and that's pretty much it. So let me get it all uh, finished here and painted and uh, put on and then I'll show you the final result. Alright guys, so there it is. There's the uh, final uh, hedge there. I just put a very light coat of that moss green uh, paint on it. Didn't even have to give it that much and uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It's this big single hedge here and it uh, you know kind of blends in and uh yeah it looks just like a green hedge so kind of that reminiscent look of the uh, villa plot sets that they used to make with the villas and the little plot around them right and just hot glued it on right there and that's pretty much it so that's how you make a hedge for standard gauge so i think i got a little one i'm gonna put on the back here on the one side of the um <clears throat> roadway on the opposite side of the passenger station there and that's uh that's about it i'm not going to go crazy with the hedges or anything like that but i thought it was kind of cool that they're here so it's supposed to kind of mimic uh the hedge that's on the um diner right here you can see there's that sort of hedge in the front there that one's a little bit different color that's more of a mossy green light mossy green but it's kind of like that and uh, yeah just by using some uh, abrasive sponges a little paint and of course you can paint any color you guys want to you don't have to use the green I use but uh, whatever you want to use and then uh, you just paint it and uh, that's it you got some hedges all right guys well that's gonna be it for today's video is really quick and short one uh, but I hope you like the little standard gauge hedge that we made out of the uh, abrasive blocks a little hot glue and a little paint and uh, like I said, you could paint it any color you want to. I use this mossy dark green, but you can use anything you want to make whatever color hedges you want to. So this is a great way to make these hedges that give that old sort of uh, turn of the century uh, pre-war look that they used to put on those little plots where they had the villa and then the scenery right around it. So. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications, and put your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace, guys.